Alright, what is up YouTube? Today so I here coming at you with a brand new video. Today I'm here talking to you guys about a life story that happened to me probably last year around like the same day we got out of school. I believe it was like the exact the last day of school. We got out like one o'clock, so I had a couple friends over and you know we we had a fire i have a backyard and on like the side of it there's like a bunch of i have like a dirt area where now there's some little like motocross like pit ba pit, pit bike track um but you know i was like you know let's have a fire and whatnot so i ended up you know we went we went over to my buddy, buddy's house it's like right across the street and we grabbed just like a bunch of his trash and stuff just to have like this huge insane fire it w wasn't a windy day like i know what i was doing because I, I i'm in the mountains so like i'm not in the mountains now but like i've been up and i know like i'm not a complete dumbass with fire and whatnot so you know we were just having a fire and the neighbors behind me once we had it going and everything and then the flames like they made it out to the like they ended up calling the police the people behind me they were complete dickheads about it they weren't even like the neighbors directly behind me so it wouldn't have really affected their house these people were like three house like behind me in my backyard three houses or two houses down like this fire this little fire is not going to affect your house and they're sitting there they told the cop or whatever that there were like 15 12 foot flames and whatnot and like that we were out of control throwing gas on it i threw gas on it once when to get it started and everything and you know it was just complete bullshit the fact that then once we were doing that like you know we were burning it and we were throwing stuff and it was burning real hot and everything we had i had the hose right there if anything was to happen which it wasn't because i had it under control and everything and the neighbors came outside and they were like Hey, why don't you put that out? And they were sitting there screaming at us, telling us to put it out. And we're like, how is this affecting you? You're all the way down there. And we're screaming back and forth. And they just ended up, the one guy, he, I don't I don't know. He was like this old older guy. He wasn't, he was probably like 40 some years. No, not 40. He was like 60 years old or something like that. And he came down. He was like, you know, you can end up burning all the trees down by your house and burning your whole house down and burning the whole neighborhood down by this fire. And, you know, so we're talking to him and he's like, you know, we're all just, you know, nothing, nothing major happening. And, you know, so we're talking. We probably talked for about 10, 15 minutes or so. And he's sitting there just going on and on. And by this time, I was just like, can you please just get off my property? Like, I don't need you to stand here and do anything he's like well you know what if you're not gonna put that out and everything then i'm gonna get the cops so he ended up going and you know he i guess he called the cops because a cop ended up showing up and complete dick parks outside he comes up and he like i see him he starts walking back we're all sitting back there like we're not doing anything bad we're not doing any drugs we're just having a little fire like a fire okay it's not little but it's not like out of control huge and the guy, the older guy, while the cop's walking towards us, he's like, Hi, ah, your friend's there. Talk, talking about the cop, like, your friend's there. He's coming to talk to you guys. And we're just like, I remember my one friend ended up flicking that guy off, and he just went inside. And the cop was, he came to us, and he's like, I'm going to have to ask you to put this fire out. And I was just like, why, why? What seems to be the issue here? Like, we're not doing anything wrong whatsoever. We're having a fire on the last day of school, just socializing, you know. I'm, there's a hose right there if anything was to happen, which it wasn't. And, you know, I'm just explaining the cop. He's like, we can talk, but I need to put this fire out now. He's like, are your parents here? Do they know what, what you're doing? And he's, like, making it seem like we're doing something, like, horribly wrong. When, you know, we were having a fire on the last day of school, just celebrating, you know, like, finally done, finally in summer. And so... You know, we're he. I put it out, and you know, he's like, if I see that, if I hear that that fire's been lit up again, I'm gonna come and arrest you, or I'm gonna. There's gonna be charges or something like that. He was just being a complete dick about it, and you know, I told him my parents, my dad wasn't home and everything, and the next thing, like, he's like, well, I'm gonna have to talk to him about what you did, and I'm like, why? What did I even? How is this even bad? He's like. Do you feel the breeze? And he sticks like his finger up, and he's like, "It's blowing real hard." And I'm sitting there like, "There's no breeze. I have a tree. There's trees all around me, and none of them are even like moving." And he's like, "It's wind. It's the, the wind is really bad today. You shouldn't have been doing that." And so we put it out. He was being. He was. He was. I mean, he didn't do anything. He couldn't have done anything. But 
he was being a complete dick about it and you know just kind of ruined the day because my friends ended up going home and you know because they didn't want to they didn't want to be around him anymore so pretty much once he came they all left and i had to put it out and i was just talking to him but you know it kind of sucks but nothing bad ended up happening out of it but if you guys did enjoy this life story please make sure you click that like button below and i will see you in the next video guys have a good day